red corner. Standing five foot eight inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. He is a wrestler from Palmer, Alaska, making his AFC debut, Marshall Carlisle. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner, standing five foot six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. He is a boxer from Anchorage, Alaska. He is an AFC veteran, Jesse Puerto Rico Gamecock Crew. Once again, let's listen in to referee Al Medina with his pre-fight instructions. Okay, you guys, have any questions about the rules? All right, let's touch them up, let's go. We got a wrestler taking on a boxer. Who wants to see a knockout? Confirm. We're going to see a wrestler take on a boxer. Oh, uh, once you again, know, I, I give you the lovely Michelles. Cruz is more than a boxer these days. He's uh, learned his game from uh, Gracie. You know, if you're working with Ted and Ricky, there's no doubt you got a little bit of jiu-jitsu in you. So. Sure. Cruz and Carlisle, center of the octagon. Cruz the boxer. Jesse in and out. Marshall with uh, some wild throws going on here. Well, if he's a wrestler, he's just going to want to throw him to get close, get a clinch, and uh, shoot a takedown. They both get in on each other there. Next time uh, Jesse goes down like that, he wants to be aware of that knee. He's Definitely. leaving himself wide open. Shoot, and the right hand gets off on Carlisle. Now, you, it appears uh, Jesse uh, wants to show his boxing skills, Kevin. Well, I think that's what he feels most comfortable with. Now, if you felt most comfortable and, and the thing that you are best at was working, why change it up and go to something that you are less than the best at? Oh, I totally agree. Cruz measuring up for big right hand, gets off. Hit him Knocked on the Cruz smells blood. Cruz gets off at a right and a left. Marshall doing a good job staying composed. Leg kick, Cruz. It appears Carlisle's hands real, real low. That's going to be a, a big problem if Cruz tries to get off. And it appears Jesse does smell blood. Oh, Ooh, unintentional, unintentional groin. Fighter gets five minutes to recover. You know, sometimes that happens. That's two and a half minutes per testicle. Yeah, Cruz immediately went down. You look at a replay here. Ladies, I understand you have babies. You know, even with hurts, that cup, Kevin, it, looking for an inside leg kick, it looked like. And Ooh. right up the bottom of the cup. Oh, my uh, lord. How? I have you not to watch the who did that? A, you know, it is. it does happen. It's, a, you know, I'm sure he feels bad about it. Once but uh, at least five minutes they threw the Batman power there. <laughs> It's, uh, let's see how Jesse comes back well, with this if he does. Cruz has five minutes to adjust. That he's was up, make some noise. He's working know, it out. And granted, it was an unintentional right kick, but that, that will leave you. That breaks your uh, concentration right there. You know, these, you hear a lot of these people laughing, but. Oh, you know, it's, it's a, a graze will get you. You don't need to get contacted like that. That's no fair. That's no fun. Not funny. He still has a couple minutes. A kick like that's got you coming out of the dentist's office full of, uh, full of the happy stuff going, is this going to be forever? <laughs> yeah. Let's make some noise for Jesse. You know, Jesse, Jesse was smart, you know. He, he did take a good portion he of his time. Purely accidental. Showing their love. Now, I would be not surprised to see Cruz try to get off and get out. Carlisle had a great opportunity to rest himself there. Right 
We're gonna see if this uh, makes Jesse gun shy or uh, Marshall's gonna come out swinging some more. Maybe take him down. Who's definitely getting the better of the stand up here. And uh, neither fighter looking to go to the ground at this point. Branching right, two for the takedown. Right of the side control. Marshall using the fence to get around. And he can't kick an opponent when he's down, but you can certainly punch him. As Cruz displayed there. Uh, to the head, that is. Yeah, and he just needs to, you know, he's got to be aware of all times, not to the back of that head. Carlisle in a better position here for himself. Uh, build out as a wrestler, he's going to feel comfortable with his opponent on his back. Coming to 10 seconds. Looks like it's going around too. Oh. Aside from the reversal there after the takedown, uh, gonna have to give that one to uh, Cruz for his uh, domination and stand-up. Yeah, Jesse did a good job with that. Uh, you know, they're probably telling Marshall in his corner, you need to take him down and work the ground and pound. And, uh, Ricky's probably telling Jesse right now, hey, continue that stand-up. Well, definitely, definitely uh, Carlisle definitely seems to be dropping his hands after, uh, I mean, I don't know if he's just forgetting a lack of experience being as he's a debut fighter. It, it looks to be as he'll bring him up for a few seconds and then let him drop for, you know, 10 seconds at least. And if Cruz notices a rhythm there, he's, he's going he's gonna to take advantage. And it looks like Ricky Shivers is telling him the same thing. Yeah, and you know, it's it's hard when he first Leg come out. kick, let him drop his hands and knock him out. That's what it looked like he said. Start of round two. Round number two here, Cruz and Carlisle. Cruz with a leg kick. Cruz again with a nice oh. one, two, and that, that is... That's it. That is it. Jesse Cruz clipped him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner is referee Al Medina stops the fight 13 seconds into the second round. Jesse Parika Gamecock Cruz. I am here with your winner, Jesse, the Puerto Rican Gamecock Cruz. Jesse totally dominated on the feet in round number one. Uh, took a vicious low blow. What did that do to you? It hurt me. That's what it did. A lot. He got me real good clean to the cup. But, uh, I mean, I took this fight on short notice. I'm a little winded right now. But uh, I trained with Gracie Baja. That's the best gym in the state, I believe. Uh, thank you to Ted, Ricky. My sponsors, uh, Snowman Express, Big Dipper Clothing. Thank you so much for the shorts. Y'all see them? They nice, huh? And uh, just everybody that came and showed up for me to fight tonight. Thank you guys. Everybody bought tickets for me. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm just looking forward to fighting in more and more fights, man. Try and get a belt. Now, Jesse, between the rounds, between round one and two, I, I don't claim to read lips or anything, but it looked like uh, Ricky Shivers was telling you, throw the leg kick till he drops his hands, and then, and then one, two. And you did exactly that in 13 seconds. Was, were, we on, were we on right there? Yeah, I was, man. Ricky's one of the best that I've ever trained with. He's a great fighter. Thank you, Ricky, for uh, cornering me late. He found out today or last night and stepped in there and said he'd corner me, so I appreciate it. But, uh, man, it's Puerto Rico Gangkai, baby. I'm here, man. Just trying to win everything, man. Let's take a look at the big screen here and walk the crowd through some of the action. See that? Uh, let's see here. Uh, throwing, the, throwing the kick. Uh, uh, just waiting because he's got his left hand down as you can see fake the kick throw the jab left hook Boom, and then here comes the right bang. Good night, buddy. That's how it happens And just finish the fight. Thank you guys. Thank everybody for coming out everybody to support Alaska fighting championship y'all we're, we're here to make a name for Alaska. Thank y'all for coming out. You're with a Jesse Cruz We're gonna